Jennifer Smith grew up in the office supply business. Her dad ran a small shop in Northfield called Town & Country, which she eventually bought. Within two years, she grew that office supply company from $1 million to $12 million in annual revenue and went on to sell it to a larger supplier. But Jennifer saw a bigger opportunity to build a forward-thinking office products business. Instead of building a warehouse to stock millions of dollars worth of merchandise, Jennifer set up relationships with vendors and created a stockless office goods business that she'd called Innovative Office Solutions. Jennifer set a goal to become Minnesota's largest independent office supplier within 10 years. She achieved it in nine. The key, Jennifer likes to say, is relationships. Today, Innovative employs 320, but it still feels like a family business. Jennifer's husband, Brooks, has supported her big goals from day one. Now, both of their children and their children's spouses work at Innovative. Son, Max Smith, is an accountant executive. I, ju I think it's the people that she's had along with her and the people believe in her and she had just this power to um, empower others to, to be successful and I think people really love that about her and that's why we've grown so much and it's really just the relationships that she's grown and how she runs businesses building great relationships. Innovative is now approaching $170 million in annual sales. The company has worked with every Minnesota pro sports team and continues to broaden its reach beyond traditional paper goods. Jennifer is always thinking about new solutions. She has um, definitely been involved in, in everything and she's put really good people in charge of um, some of the different areas and growth strategies that we've had, but she's got her, her hands in, in just about everything still. Jennifer continues to guide and motivate her team even as she battles cancer for the third time. She's the easily the strongest person I know and I think she has to stay positive. You have to stay positive when the hard things are happening, but how she stays positive is through the amazing network that she has of people. Um, she has really created relationships with every single person that she meets. And so she has an army of people that love and care about her. So the support helps keep her insanely positive. And I mean, she, she's been sick and she hasn't missed a day of work. I mean, she is still there for every single person. If someone in the company is going through something difficult, she's the first person to reach out and say, I'm here for you if you need anything. And they're like, you're here for me? Like, I should be saying that to you. And she's, she's the first person to give a call or even just a little text message or something to let them know she's thinking about them and that she cares even when she's going through so much herself. But I think that's why there are so many people around that love her. Her warmth and her work ethic are an inspiration to colleagues, clients, and her daughter-in-law, Bridget, who serves as Innovative's marketing director. I would say find the silver linings. Focus on things you can control because there are things you can't. And never stop, like just keep going. If, roadblock ha if roadblocks happen, you'll find a new way. And so I think it's one of those things where you can take that in the business world, you can take that in your personal world. Um, just never stop, just keep going. Recently, Jennifer has taken on a new title, Yaya. That's what her grandson, Braxton, calls her. She takes me around to give me kisses. It's never too early to start teaching the next generation the value of building relationships. Mm -hmm.